Coach Patrick, Menlo College, here in California at the C3 event. Uh, first off, what do you think of what Compound's put on here at Calvary Chapel High School? I think this is an awesome event. Uh, I wish they'd been doing this years ago when I was in school, and uh, it gives the kids a great opportunity to showcase themselves to some high-level college coaches and, and get some exposure they wouldn't otherwise have. Look at Menlo College. It's in the Bay Area, actually, just south of San Francisco. And you guys are right by Stanford, actually, right? Yeah, about five minutes north, just right down El Camino from uh, Stanford. Uh, about 20 minutes south of the city. Uh, small business college, about 800 students. Uh, about half of those are athletes. Looking at, you guys are like right next to Facebook and Google. And all, all of that is literally right there. So it's a business college. You're by the biggest businesses in the world. How much opportunity is there for a kid, a student athlete that comes to your school and wrestles for you guys? Oh, tons. Um, that's just one, one of our really big selling points, business school. Uh, between the junior and senior year, uh, our athletes get an opportunity to have an internship with one of those huge corporations, uh, Facebook, Google, uh, some of the tech startups or a lot of the accounting firms. We send a lot of our guys and girls to uh, compete uh, with other students around the area for those internships. It's just a huge opportunity to get them exposure. And you guys have both. You got women's and men's. Yeah, absolutely. We got a men's and women's program. Uh, started in 2001, so still relatively new. Uh, our girls team took fifth in nations last year, and the guys team took uh, 13th. And the, the so the girls wrestle freestyle. Yep. Yeah, they're in the uh, WCWA. Okay, and then you guys wrestle regular college style, obviously, but yes. looking at, you know, your NAIA, yep. looking at that, that division's always growing. Yeah. It's always growing. They're always adding teams. Yeah, absolutely. It's a challenge in California scheduling life, you know, because you guys got to travel a lot. Yeah, it's a yeah. flight everywhere, basically. Uh, it, not necessarily. We're driving about six hours north to wrestle uh, Southern Oregon, um, or we'll drive a little bit more to uh, to go to Reading to wrestle Simpson University, and then we'll, we'll drive to, to Reno. But yeah, if we're trying to see some of the bigger count, uh, competition, Grandview and the uh, back east schools, we definitely have to fly out to tournaments like Missouri Valley and, uh, and stuff like that. What are you looking for here when you come to this combine? What are you looking for in a student athlete? What are you looking for? What, what's the what's the it factor for Menlo College and to get someone on and wrestle for you guys are the Oaks, right? Yes, absolutely. Yes. What do you want? What are you looking for in a, in a future Oak? Uh, I mean, obviously, just like any other school, looking for somebody who's, who's got good grades, who's motivated, who's a good wrestler. Um, we're just looking for somebody that's gonna that's gonna fit um, our program and where we're going with, with our vision. Somebody who's gonna be involved. Uh, with the school, uh, who's going to be involved in, in the community, who's looking to uh, obviously be somewhere in, in a business major or, or a law or, um, or a psychology, but uh, just we're looking for the kids that are coming out and scrapping right now, the ones that uh, are going through some of these tough sessions and uh, are, really, are really standing out uh, in, in all these events. 800 kids in your school? Yeah. There's only 800 students? It, it, it seems small, but it's a good environment. It allows us, them to really get to know each other, and it's a pretty tight-knit community. Um, and I think the fact that it's uh, about half athletes is something really special that a lot of other uh, students don't have. 50% of your student body population is student athlete. Yeah, roughly. That's very unique. It is. Really yeah. unique. Um, how many guys on the roster and girls? Uh, about 35, uh, about 25 on the girls roster. Uh, we've got a brand new wrestling room this year, so that's something we're really so excited about. you 60 wrestlers on campus of 800 people. Yeah. That's it's pretty a, good. It's a pretty good ratio. So. Uh, what, you know, moving forward here, where do you guys, where else can you recruit? Can you go to Fargo? Do you have that in your budget? Where do you go from here? What's on your schedule next? Yeah, year? absolutely. We sent coaches to the uh, high school nationals in the past back in Virginia Beach. Uh, we're actually sending a coach out to uh, Fargo uh, in a couple weeks here, just, just looking for those next couple studs that are going to make an impact. All right, Coach, we got guys coming in. Do you yeah. got anything else for me? Uh, no, that's it. Thanks, Rob. Hey, thanks for the time, and good luck to you guys moving forward. Thank you.